this is some pretty traditional standard algebra, so most of you are just gonna dive into the algebra, and that's fine. I think that's probably the most efficient way to do it. We could use the calculator, which I'll show you, but regardless of the way we're gonna do it, we need to be careful. There's a trap here. This is a classic SAT trap. They're not asking you to solve for X or to solve for T. They're asking you for this weird thing. So when we're done with the question, we're gonna see an X equals, a T equals, and we're gonna feel really good that we did the job, but we always have to remember the SAT adds these little extra steps just to see if you're paying attention. So start off like I did by kind of writing down or highlighting whatever it takes, the, the thing that they want so that you remember to go back to it. So in this case, I would start by, um, start the algebra by distributing. So I would get 6t minus 20, and then don't forget this extra t right here, uh, equals 40 plus 4t, and then I'd start combining like terms, so that's gonna be 7t minus 20 equals 40 plus 4t, and on my scrap paper, I don't trust myself to do this stuff in my head, so I'm gonna even write these extra steps, move the 4t, add the 20, and we get that uh, 3t, is equal to 60. Now, if you're paying attention, you might just be like, oh, I'm just done, right? Because that's what I wanted is 3t. So yeah, you could just be done here and that is the answer. But some of you just out of habit are gonna continue and solve for t anyway, and that's fine. Just make sure, like I said, you go back and once you get t equals 20, you say, oh yeah, they wanted 3t, so 3t is three times 20 is 60, same answer. So whether or not the question was set up, to get you to kind of stop at this point, I don't know, it might just be a coincidence, but other versions of this question might not do that. So we, we sometimes will still need to get all the way to T equals and then work it back. Now, if I wanted to use the calculator, I could do it here. I wanna show you kind of what we would do. If you just take this equation and you enter it, you have gotta be careful with all your parentheses and everything, so is try to time me here. We're gonna switch X for a T. Uh, is this going to be faster than the algebra to enter this? I don't know. Close those parentheses. Add the t equals uh, 40 plus 4t. 40 plus 4t. And we see, as I was typing it, right, the, the kind of equation kept coming and going. And so it's like, oh, okay, like what, what happened now? Where did it go? Well, it's, at this point, it's just a zooming issue. And so if I kind of zoom around, I might be able to find, there it is, I don't know why it's in this awful black color. Let's, can I change the color? There we go. So it's a straight line, and it's not like it's a curve that somehow is like just too hard for us to notice. This is literally a straight line, and you can see where the line is. It's at 20, and it's at 20 everywhere. If I kind of trace this thing, you can kind of see, look at my X is always 20. So what the Desmos calculator is doing here is it's solving the algebra for you. So you could put this in in different ways. You could put it in as two separate equations, like y equals 40 plus 4t, and then another y equals 2 times 3t minus 10 plus t, and then you can see where those two things intersect. But if we get comfortable with what this is kind of like giving us, we can do a lot of algebra just using the graphing calculator. But again, even if we do it this way, Maybe it's faster, but the trap does not disappear, right? It tells us that 20 is the value of t, the value of x, so we still need to get 3t, 3 times 20 and 60. So the trap does not disappear whichever way you do it. Um, if you're good at algebra, I think you're probably going to very confidently be able to um, just solve this with normal moving things across and equals, but if you tend to make a lot of careless mistakes with algebra, I don't know, the calculator may, might kind of solve a lot of that for you. So it might be okay, you gotta make sure you enter it correctly, but maybe that's a new strategy, is instead of doing algebra, you let the graphing calculator just graph you the answer. You gotta be able to read that and understand that that 20 is what the value of t is, because we only have one variable in our equation, but if you can get comfortable with that, maybe some of this algebra just disappears entirely. And that might be good. That might be good. We'll see. I think we need more new tests to see how well this method works.